Morning everyone and welcome to Carrot Top Garden. As you can see here today it is overgrown, things have got bolted and uh, pretty much non-usable anymore. So today I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about these things, snails. So as you can see here in this part of the garden bed I have snails, a lot of snails happening in here. Uh, so how am I going to deal with these? Well, I'm just going to pull everything out. Uh, I was going to put it up on the compost pile to compost down because there's a lot of stuff in here that I want to, uh, to wanted to compost. But the amount of snails that I found in here um, is going to really cause me a lot of issues in the next season as these guys multiply in the perfect growing condition for them which would be the compost pile where they have lots of food and undisturbed so i decided that i was going to do this in a different way than throwing it onto my compost pile i will let you know in just a sec welcome to little patch my name's kim and if you ever wanted to learn how to grow, preserve and use your own food, you're in the right spot. This community is here to help you guys learn how to do that. So hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new videos that are going to be coming out over this coming season and we will see you out in the garden, in the kitchen, in the pantry or wherever we happen to be today. Snails are one of the most worst pests to have in the garden. They demolish things overnight. One snail can demolish off half a dozen of your beautiful seedlings that you have grown in like two seconds and everything is back where it started from. So guys, instead of throwing this up on my compost pile i am going to give these little snails in here and i can tell you some of these snails are actually really quite big and um, because there are so many of them instead of just using my size 8 boot which i would normally deal with them uh, or putting snail pellets in and waiting for that to do its job or beer traps or anything like that I am going to give these guys a royal cart ride to a very special, special place for these guys to reside. And I can tell you right now there are some very, very special young ladies who will enjoy their company. This guys is an area that you guys don't normally get to see. This is where my young ladies get to free range and enjoy themselves during the day. Uh, so right at the back there you can see that is our chicken coop and the girls are coming out to meet me. The door is open 24 seven and, and they just come in and out of the house as they choose. The, this is also the area where we put our bonfire, all the items that I can't use in the garden itself. Uh, I don't have a mulcher, so I can't mulch down sticks and things myself. So this is where we put anything that needs to be burnt instead of taking it to the tip. So you can see the girls are coming out and having a good investigation. They don't actually know at this particular point in time that these gorgeous little male female friends are in this pile they will take a few minutes to realize that there are some beautiful little treats in here they will enjoy it it is also good and good protein for your chickens as chickens actually do enjoy eating bugs of all sorts and that is why it's good for them to free range so once they find these snails in here, I have fed my chickens some extra goodness. They may or may not eat the greens. Uh, that is not what I'm worried 
what I'm wanting them to do though. What I'm wanting them to do is to reduce the snail population without me having to go and stomp on all of these snails. So I'll give you a quick close up here and show you how much the girls actually love these snails. So as an alternative way of dealing with snails in your veggie garden, you can allow your chickens to free range in amongst your veggies if you have chickens that you know will not dig up your vegetables. I have uh, four other chickens, they are white hens. They don't always hang out with the eyes of browns. Those chickens I would trust up in my garden because they are a smaller chicken and they don't actually scratch around a lot. Now these eyes of brown girls, these will scratch up. So they I don't trust. So them I don't trust up in my veggie garden. So, But they are doing their job here today, getting these snails, helping to reduce the population. And I get to feed my chickens some beautiful snails and some beautiful greens all right guys don't forget to check out the videos up here hit the subscribe button make some comments below on what you uh, how you guys are dealing with your snails this season and are your chickens getting to eat your snails